At this point, your post is ready to be published. Now, there are some best practices for publishing, almost like a little checklist before you publish to make sure that your post is really ready uh, to be put out there to the world. So I'm gonna walk through exactly what I do when I'm ready to publish a post. So once I have my post written, um, I check my title to make sure it is capitalized like a title, that it looks nice. Um, I check my top image. I make sure that my image is aligned center if I have any of those images. Um, I just make sure, generally speaking, that I don't have any spelling errors, that I don't have any grammatical issues, any sentence structure issues. Um, I usually look for those during, while I'm writing, but I'll usually do a quick check um, for two or three minutes just after I'm done writing the post, kind of giving it a final look over. Um, if there, I'll look through the post to see if there's any places in the post that feel like there's just too much text and see if I need to add another image to break it up or add in a YouTube video. Um, I just wanna make sure that my post flows. I wanna make sure also that my subheadings, when I look at my subheadings, that they're standalone. Um, and when I mean, when I say that, I mean that um, if Google used those as a subheading in their answer target or, or anything like that, that it could stand by itself, like an actual standalone sentence. So I wanna make sure that my subheadings are standalone, that they, um, are capitalized as well, that they look nice. Um, and then once I s make sure that all of the content is ready to go, I'll go over to the sidebar here and I'll just make sure that if I want to add it to a category that I can do that. Um, right now I'm not worrying about it and you probably don't need to worry about that at this point, um, but in the future you may. I'll make sure that I have a featured image um, all set. So I'm just gonna quickly set a featured image here and after I have my featured image set, I'm going to click Save Draft. You probably should be clicking Save Draft the whole time you've been working on the post. I should have said it earlier in these videos, but be clicking Save Draft as you're writing the post. Sometimes WordPress will freeze up and you will lose some of your posts. Um, and so the more you click Save Draft, the more that you're going to save, generally speaking. So after I click Save Draft, I'm going to just go right over to the next button to Preview. And I'm gonna click Preview and it's gonna give me the option to preview my post in desktop mode, tablet mode, and mobile mode, which means that it's just going to show me a preview of what it would look like in those different modes. I just wanna look at desktop, um, and then I'm gonna preview a new tab. It's going to open you a new tab, and it's gonna show you what your post looks like on the front end, which is really important because in the back end of the WordPress editor, a lot of times the post will look different than what it looks like on the front end. Your tables may look great while you're working on it in the back end, but then you publish it, and sometimes the words are cut in half, um, sometimes the images aren't aligned correctly. There's a couple different things that happen. So we wanna preview so that we can double check to make sure those things don't happen. So I can see my post preview here. I have my title. You can see my image here. I have my text, the place where my pull quote could be. And then generally everything looks good. One thing I'm going to check, it looks like my image is not centered here, um, which I did make an effort to, to go and center it. So I'm not sure why. So let's go double check. So I'm going to go into my back end of my post, click the image and it's going to bring up the place where I can click Align Center, and then I'm going to click Save Draft. And then once I click Save Draft, it's going to save, and then after it's done saving, I'll click Preview, open a new tab, and it's going to generate the new preview based on the changes that I made. So let's see if it made my image um, go center. Ah, there we go. So now my image is centered. It makes me feel so much better. Um, the last thing that I'm going to check when I'm publishing, is that I'm going to actually click on my preview. I'm gonna click the logo, which will take me home, and then it's going to show me the most recent posts. So once you're here on the most recent post page, go back to the back end of your editor and click publish. So you're going to click publish, and then it will give you the option to make it visible to the public or private or password protected. Just make it public. Um, you're going to publish it immediately and then don't worry about tags for now. Click publish, go back to the front end and click refresh. And then it's going to show your new post right here at the top. So you see I have my new post. This is the featured image that I added and then I can click to the view the post. By doing this check, it just makes sure that I am not missing anything, that there's nothing that looks weird and that my post is truly ready to go. So after you've done this quick check, publish your first post. Congratulations. Uh, you made it through your first post. Now all you have to do is do it again.